Today, what we're going to do is get into some more inscriptions. Can you believe it right now? X RC 20s, of course, have just come. That is, of course, Twitscriptions, which is an amazing protocol that's brand new and free. You can definitely check out the videos right here to learn exactly how to deploy, mint, transfer, and, and of course, buy. Using your X account is absolutely an incredible time in the market, thanks to Bitcoin ordinals, of course. Next, what we have is CFT20s. And what exactly is that? We'll find out right now. And what we're looking at, of course, is the Asteroid Protocol, which has been launched just maybe about 30 some odd hours ago uh, as of this recording. So it's been a busy day of minting, 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 minting like mad men and women. To be honest, we just haven't simply had a chance to get on <laughs> on the videos to inform you guys. So I would absolutely strongly recommend you head into the Discord, follow the links in the social socials so that you can also be part of the alpha movement that's happening right now. If you missed Bitcoin ordinals, I don't think it's too late. If you missed BRC20s, of course, which came from ordinals inscriptions, then you know you might want to try this out. And I'll tell you why. Let me explain to you why this is so important. Okay. So unlike Cardano, Tron, Ethereum, Avalanche, and other chains that have adopted inscriptions, Cosmos Hub is one of the chains that does not natively support, support smart contracts. So that means no tokens such as NFTs can be deployed on the main Cosmos chain. So you have other chains that do that for them, such as Stargaze, maybe Omniflix, and of course, many others. So what exactly is this? You can store arbitrary data directly on the chain and not use some type of decentralized storage system, which we're so commonly uh, so accustomed to by, let's say, um, Filecoin or IPFS, you know, or Arweave, things like that. You know, we're so associated, we're so accustomed to getting NFTs, for example. But in actuality, the reality is that the NFT itself really doesn't exist on chain. It's more or less just a, a URL that points to the data that is stored off chain in some other decentralized service. So a uh, storage service. This is why we have been so into Bitcoin ordinals. And I would recommend everybody check out ordinal theory. Why not? Because this is where it all began. began. And of course, this was what December of 2022 that ordinal theory came out and we were inscribing uh, data on chain now of course fast forward into march of 2023 is when we saw brc20 so these non-fungible um these fungible tokens that you can deploy on bitcoin where we're in allowing you to transfer data and to create your own tokenized it's tokenized experience for your community however you wish to do it so let's get back to this okay so a lot of people may not understand what this is about but and and why this is valuable just imagine you being able to deploy a token that can be minted for free so this is not an investment this is a way to transfer data and to even maybe even to bolster your community or to make collaborations stronger to tokenize things like i said i, I don't want to limit it to one or two things but there's so many things you can do with inscriptions right because again the data exists on the chain it doesn't rely on calling upon data from another chain so with inscriptions what you can do is of course you can Let's go browse. You can create inscriptions that are that are photos, for example, maybe sound, GIFs, uh, videos, you name it. But then you can also create tokens of your own and you can set the supply. So let's just quickly go to create and we can actually, as you can see, let me zoom in a little bit, make it a little bit bigger. Oh, it doesn't really matter. You can create uh, tokens and you can actually drop your own logo here or your own icon with these dimensions. Okay, minimum, maximum. You can create the name of your token but you can also create the ticker of your token and it's not limited to four characters like brc20s were and of course many protocols uh that have come from brc20s do not uh, actually yeah do not limit you to four characters they allow you to use pretty much as many characters as you want or, or within some limit beyond four now you can actually use full words uh you know to in this case 10 characters you could choose your maximum supply you can choose your minimum supply the great thing that I love about what they've done here with Asteroid Protocol is the fact that you can launch your token immediately or you can set to launch it at a date in time in the future. And the reason why I love that is because you can start your promotions or you can prepare yourselves. You can prepare people because what happens is when you create a token, what you're actually doing is you're creating the opportunity for there to be a... I'm going to go to a page further like that's that has not minted out and i'm not going to choose any specific token i'm not really trying to give any one 
token too much attention but for the purposes i may just have to do it so i'm going to click one of these right i'm not promoting this token in any way it's a random choice but you'll see the maximum supply is here you can see the limit per mint is right here so you can mint a thousand of these tokens per mint you could see when it was deployed uh you could see the market cap after it's been traded on the marketplace in some way and of course you can see how many tokens are circulating based on the amount that have been minted so still we're still concerned with token economics here we're looking at the amount of max the amount of supply um the amount of tokens per mint and of course you can check out the holder balance um uh you know how it's balanced out for among holders because you may not want to get into anything that's just too too just too centralized right you could take a look at a lot of data when it was created who created it what what the transaction was and i personally love this for so many reasons for one one of the reasons why people don't understand this or, or why people doubt this is because what they feel is hey wait a second um why should i be you know allowing spam on the network and such and such to me this is huge because what it allows for is fees for miners go way up and that does satisfy a section or some sub sub segment of blockchains so to me it's not spam in any way because when you're creating value for people and you're transferring that value for free yes of course you do pay a transaction fee but you're not actually buying the token guys in my opinion the whole idea of fair mint and fair launch and that type of thing is a is not brand new because you know ultimately bitcoin was the original fair mint token coin but we're still catching wind on that we're still riding those sails and we've gone back to that idea of fair mint and and i and i love it guys i really i truly love it because the whole idea of airdropping tokens and token sales and pre-sales that's essentially old news i mean that's relatively new compared to, to bitcoin but ultimately ultimately that is old news i i you know uh, uh it's all it's old news but it's ultimately news in the sense that we're going back to that so it feels like it's a brand new uh narrative for this particular cycle so let's look at asteroid protocol quickly and see who actually uh created asteroid protocol right and of course that is um terra you know early terra builders astroport some members from astroport as well as delphi labs right and the great thing about this is guys these guys know a lot about the blockchain space but there's one critical thing that i like that they mention and it's the fact that again i mentioned in the very beginning they believe that this is essentially the best place for inscriptions next to bitcoin because every other chain is copying it in a sense or they, they learn from it in, in a sense but these other chains actually already natively support nft so kind of what they're doing is they're creating um more competition for their own non-fungible token market whereas the cosmos hub does not natively support tokens so like you have an opportunity right now to inscribe arbitrary data on chain you and i and it's so 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 inexpensive right and like again permanently writing data on chain it could pivot the hub in, co in this case cosmos hub to compete merely with other or uh, closely i think uh with other cosmos change chains and we don't have to rely on ipfs or are we even and other things of that nature so guys i don't know about you i'm like was so inspired personally by ordinal theory back last year essentially like like you know literally a year ago to this day or even a year like 13 months ago to the date of, re of this recording and then again like i said then again then uh, later came brc20s and that allowed us to do even more so personally i'm not really going to sleep on this idea right i think there's so much potential here and i think this is actually going to suck up some of the liquidity that would be traveling from the cosmos hub into the various chains on in the cosmos ecosystem because you are spending atom to mint deploy uh maybe transfer whatever have you and also when you sell you are receiving atom so i believe that liquidity is actually going to stay within the cosmos hub which i think is a powerful powerful additional feature to the cosmos ecosystem specifically of course to the cosmos hub i wouldn't sleep on this one guys follow me over here on x because we definitely have a lot going on 
if you want the alpha definitely follow my accounts and understand what i'm why i'm inspired by this type of technology and and essentially join the discord right here so that you can also be part of the alpha to know what we've been minting and why we were unable to create a video and sometimes we're just unable to create videos because there's just too much going on there's too much great and there's too much excitement in the industry right now for for you know for videos and i'm gonna be honest guys so i'm happy to be here um check me out over here of course on the channel i want you guys to watch this video these videos as well on how to mint uh, let's say deploy transfer and buy xrc20s by using simply your X or your formerly Twitter account. And this is absolutely 100% free. All right, guys, all the best. Until next time, take it easy.